Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. It's been very long since, since I did a hair tutorial. I was going through my channel and last year I, I don't even remember when I did a hair tutorial. So today's tutorial is going to be hair chalking and this is what I have come up with. I hope you guys can see that. I'll be including photos after this introductory segment. So yes, um, this is what I've come up with and it's the third day of New Year. Today is 3rd January in India right now when I'm filming. I do not know when I would upload this. So yes, this is um, the hair that I have got and um, it's actually really cool for people who do not want to do it permanently or are um, terrified about the damage. For me, it was a very nice change because I do not... Um, experiment much with my hair because my family is very protective about my hair. I don't even have any layers or anything like that, only my bands. Um, so they are very protective about my hair. So hair colouring for them is a big no. When I wanted to do, if I were for a long time wanted to go for red tips like this. So yes, I did this and my mom doesn't know about it and she's calling me from outside again and again. Um, so um, yes, I did this tutorial and for this you're going to be needing just a few things. I'll just show you. You're going to be needing a spray bottle like this cool thing, right? You're gonna be needing that. You're gonna be needing uh, dry pastels. What I found was dry pastels work better for darker hair and I have black hair. If you have lighter hair, you can even go for oil pastels. Mine, this one, has 20 shades. I, being an art student, I did had this at home already. I got this one for 120, it's MRP is 145, and you know, I had some bargaining session you can say. I got this for 120, it has 20 shades which are really pretty, you will see them in the video. You're gonna be needing your tools. I dropped my dry pastels. <laughs> so you're gonna be needing your comb or palette brush or whatever you use normally. And you're gonna be needing a hot tool like a flat iron or a curling iron or whatever you want to use. So yes, without further ado, because I'm speaking, this video will be longer. So yes, without further ado, ado, let's get into the video and if you want to know how to do these at home, then please keep on watching. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be separating my hair into two sections, bringing them forward and uh, using my paddle brush, I'm going to comb through them. So that I do not have any tangles because uh, having tangles would not make our task any easy. So once you are done brushing through with them, you have to decide what areas or sections that you want to um, have streaks or color on or you want to jerk on. So I for long had this wish to have red or you know vinyish tips like um, completely um, almost this section of my hair uh, red or uh, So after deciding, so what I have decided that I'm going to be doing my tips red. So after deciding what area you have to work on, uh, you'll have to take your spray bottle and spray your hair wet or you can use water and uh, just mystify or dampen your hair. So I'm going to be doing one side first and then the other side. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this side and um, I have measured almost about um, you know like 15 centimeters or a foot of hair and then I'm going to just dampen them. And then once again using your brush or a comb run through them to again make sure that there are no tangles at all. Once you've done that, make sure that your hair is wet, right? Next, taking your um, dry pastels, um, select the shape that you want to use. For me, I will be using this shape today. It's a vinyish red. I'll show you guys closely. I hope you can see that. And what I'm going to be doing is that it has a covering, paper covering on it. I'm actually going to remove that because that is going to make my uh, work easier. Yes, I've removed the covering now. So that's the color. What you want to do next is that you also want to um, mist your crayon with water. So I'm going to do that for more easier work. So once it's wet, um, I'm going to take, I don't know, I'm itchy. So I'm going to take my section of hair and I'm going to start working on them 
using my color downwards only downwards I'm not going to go in up and down motion but only downwards because I uh, do not want to get tangles in my hair so you can see the red tints or tints already start to come and it's also coming on my hand because I'm doing uh, complete tips of my hair I think that working in sections would be better so I'm just taking one section at a time and if you can see the red color is already start to come off right so I'm just going to do that if you think that this job is messier for you you can go ahead and wear gloves this stuff comes off easily from hand so don't worry about that it won't stain your yeah. hand dark side as well because you don't want highlights which are only on one side so I'm just going to go on the back side whoops oh my god I dropped it and it broke into pieces and here is my chalk so I have to work with the pieces now this is quite sensitive I'll just complete my tips and I will be back to show you guys what's the next step. Once you're happy with the amount of color you have in your hair like I am right now, like I have the tips of my hair in vinyl color, hope you can see the color and the difference I'll just show you. Like, right? So, I'm seeing my hands. Ah, they're messy, right? So, you're gonna let them dry, air dry. You can use a blow dryer, but I'm not because I think that it might blow off the color. I don't know if it sends to you or not, but that's what I thought. So, I'm gonna let it air dry for a while and I'm gonna do my other side too then. So, I'll be right back with my other side done as well. Alright, so now I'm happy with the amount of color that I have in my hair. Once it dries, it becomes more vibrant. But just so you know, so don't get disappointed if it's not showing at first. And um, yes, I did went ahead and wash my hands and I did not leave any stains as you can see, not even on the nails. So yes, uh, you can do it without gloves. I just, I don't know what the gloves are working today so much. Um, but I just like to do it without the gloves because I feel more unrestricted then. Um, if you're comfortable with gloves, go with that. Um, so our next step is let me clear this off. So our next step is going to be, ooh, my jean. Okay, sorry, so our next step is going to be using of any kind of hot tool that you're comfortable with. Um, because I didn't I do not curl my hair using any um, curling iron because it takes a lot longer. I use it curl it using rollers. So I'm gonna be using actually a flat iron because I already have straight hair, so I'm just gonna straighten my tips. So um, you will be needing any hot tool like a curling iron, waving, flat iron to seal in this color because this can actually you know shed off. So if you just um, go through it, go through over it with a hot tool, it will just seal in the color for a few days and let it become temporary. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take strands of my hair and just um, flat iron them, or I'll just do it once and then just completely with the different strands. Just flat ironing my tips and not the complete hair because that's not necessary. You just need to make sure that your areas where you've used the color is sealed and protected. Wow, my flat iron from inside. It's pink. Another fair warning, you can't keep on touching these hair because you might just shed off the color. So just once or twice, that is maximum, and my puff is destroyed. So, yes, this is the result on one side. I hope you can see the gradual fading of the color into a vinyl tone. I am still to do this side because it's a little bit wet, or it's almost dry. So I'll just do both this, um, this side, and I'll be back, and I have color on my hair and my hands all over again. I should have bought it in the first go. So I'll just do the other side and I'll be back. I'm done with my um, colouring and um, straightening thing. And this is the result. I love it. It's so fun and yet so easy to do without permanently damaging your hair. And it's just so amazing and um, yes, it was very easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's going to be my next step? 
going out and freaking the hell out of my mother because she's gonna be like, what have you done to your hair? And I'll be just like, my choice. So yes, it is the tutorial. Um, so this was a tutorial for hair chalking, easy at home, temporary hair streaking or you know tips. The tips would take longer than a normal streak, but my hair and anything would take long, so it's alright. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. There are a variety of colors you can try out from. They're like huge colors, blue, purple, brown. It's your choice. Go ahead. If you do this, then make sure to let me know and tell me. And for any other requests and um, if you want to know anything else about the video or me, comment below, message me, whatever way you want to connect with me. So yes, I can't stop um, reading how pretty my hair is looking. I hope the camera is like uh, catching the color correctly uh, because I'll include pictures anyway. So yes, this was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Again, a very new hat. Again, a very happy new year. I hope you guys enjoyed your New Year's Eve parties and how we celebrated it. So yes, I will see you guys in my next video. It's cold. It's very cold. So take care. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care.